Hello everyone, welcome back to my heavenly babies. I'm Angel and I'm back with my newest creation. The newest baby that I have reborn and this is Mateo. This is a little biracial baby boy and he's got rooted hair, rooted lashes and rooted eyebrows. He's done in a beautiful brown uh, medium skin tone and he's got veining, mottling, the creases, nail beds, and tips. He's got a little suck bump. He's got a tiny little scratch on his eye. I will get him up to the camera and show you. Uh, it's like a healing scratch on him. And um, just absolutely stunning, sealed doubly. I always double seal my babies. I've also given him a chocolate drop uh, belly button, his beautiful little nipples. He is just absolutely stunning, and I love his little afro. This one's got a little afro, really curly hair. Uh, the hair I bought, I will show you a picture um, of the look of it, and you'll see that it is mohair, but it was done for like an African-American baby. So it's very stunning curly hair. And um, I will stick a little clip in here somewhere, um, kind of speeding up, just showing how to do the hair. It's pretty simple. You're just going to wet it, comb it back, and then just run your fingers through it until it dries and it gets that beautiful little curl. You can also use a little toothbrush if there's little knots. Remember, being curly hair, it could probably get little, um, you know, little knots in it, but very easy to get out. I've never worked with this hair before, but so far I've washed him a couple times, done his hair, and uh, I don't seem to be getting any of that. I just use a little toothbrush, my finger, roll the hair over it, and just kind of comb it, you know, the hair. But his hair is adorable, just absolutely adorable with that little afro. First one I ever did on an African-American biracial baby. So, yeah. I'm excited and proud of this um, this little baby that I've done um, and excited to see who gets this little guy and all that he comes with. So I'll start off with showing you, of course, after I do, you know, mat the baby and everything, double mat it. Um, and I, of course, I've said it in many videos, I use very expensive products. I use Fuse FX uh, paints, silicone paints, of course. And then Fuse FX 110 and Part A and silicone velvet to seal the baby. A lot of people use that silicone velvet to powder the babies, but it can also be used as a seal, which embeds into the body. And he is silky soft. He is very flappy, very squishy. He is a 20 EcoFlex, um, an amazing baby. And then, of course, when I'm done, I do all the um, wetness where it needs the moisture. So in the ear, in the nose, going down the nose, the lips, the nail beds or, you know, the nails and then the toes and a little bit on the belly button. But he is just adorable. He is so adorable and he fits his name, Mateo. I think he just fits that name perfectly. And I love to name my babies um, because I grow a bond with each and every one that, you know, I paint to sell. Um, I do uh, grow this bond with them and I just love this little guy. He is a work of art. Now, remember with each baby that you do, now a Caucasian baby, um, of course, you would have to use a magnifying glass to see the different skin coloration as the mottling and all of that. Um, but when you're doing a, like a red baby or a brown baby like this, you are definitely going to see um, little uh, skin discoloration, you know, and that's what makes them look so real. You know, as an artist... Um, the saying is imperfections makes perfection. So as painting, obviously, as I'm having to mix the paints, continuing to mix them to get that right ratio and all of that, and certain parts of the silicone being budget, it doesn't matter. Any silicone is going to do that. Um, air, some areas get a little darker, some areas a little lighter. Uh, some don't take as much than others, but that's what gives it that realism. So I'm going to show you that when I get up close, just so you understand that it's, you know, People may look and, and think, oh, that baby looks dirty, or why does it look darker in some areas? That is what gives a real, realistic look to a baby. And silicone is much different than vinyl painting. And like I said, you have to keep mixing the paints because they dry pretty fast, so you don't want to leave a lot out because my paints are very expensive. So you have to keep doing that ratio perfectly and stuff like that. And he is just stunning. My last two uh, biracial babies that I sold, uh, the you know two people that got him love the discolor, you know, the the skin discoloration and the variations of the skin tones, they love it, the mottling and all that. So yeah, I just want to just throw that out there so you guys know. Um, but he's stunning. He looks so realistic. I'm gonna show you a picture of the before right now. I'm gonna stick it up there, and then at the end you'll get a lot of the before and afters, and then of course pictures of him like a, a photo session with him. And um, yeah, so we're gonna go over that and show you all he comes with. 
So let me show you Mateo up close. First off, look at that beautiful face. Look at that face. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Then you got that beautiful baby fine little Afro curly hair. Isn't that so cute? So adorable. And then you've got the creases done, his eyelashes done. You see his eyelashes as I go down and his rooted eyebrows. I rooted those. He's got the suck bump. So pretty. There's one of the ears and you see the skin does discoloration there. You see it going down the side and all of that. Um, yeah, that is you know, what makes the baby look so realistic. So it's in areas where you'll see that it's some, or might be lighter, some darker, because every silicone, there's no perfect silicone, um, and mine are budget ones, but um, that's that, that you know, discoloration that makes them look real. As I go up, you see the little nipples, his little chocolate drop belly button. Look at that. I just love it. You see the veining in there and um, all that mottling. And then, of course, you got this hand here and... See the variation of color there? And then, of course, that's just the seam lines, you know. And, of course, when doing a um, African-American biracial baby, um, of course, it's going to pick up in those areas. But it just, you know, looks like his skin. There's his hand there. I'm trying to show you the hand. There's his hand there. And that was where the line came down. But, again, very hard to notice. And, um, you know, it just, it kind of just blends with him. And then his little hands. It's kind of getting blurry here. Let me see if I can clear that up a little bit. But there's his little hand and the nail beds. The other side, how it's lighter and got the blushing. He's got blushing to him as well. And then we've got the other hand and his fist. He's fisted on the side and the coloration, how it fades to the inside and the nail beds, how beautiful that is. His blushing on the elbows. I'll show you that when I turn him around. And then, of course, his belly button. He's also done in his little boy bits. He is atomically correct, so he's got little boy bits. And then as you go down, you see the leg there. Look at the beautiful coloration there and all the creases done. And then his foot and the nails there, the bottom of the foot and how the, you know, I do that on purpose where you do the blushing and the discoloration because on an African baby like that, they would have that two-tone like that. Here's this leg, the blushing on the knees like that, the uh, toes on this side. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the bottom of this foot. So, so cute. Then we'll turn him around and I'll show you the back of his hair. Look at that baby fine afro. Isn't that insane? So pretty. Like I said, I'll do a little video. It's very easy. It's just wetting it and just basically playing with it. That's all you're doing is just playing with it till it completely gets that curl back and it dries. And it dries pretty quick. And then you see the back of him. He's got veining on the back and mottling as well. Blushing to the back of the elbows. And then the back of the legs there and the blushing there. So cute. Look at his feet, you guys. Oh my gosh, his feet are so cute. Now, I have done the same baby in a girl version, but I did it as a, um, ca that was a Caucasian baby. Kind of looked like a little uh, Hispanic baby. I did the drawn and um, combo hair, so the rooted hair, but this one I wanted to fully root this one. It is the first um, African-American biracial baby that I've done with the um, full head of a rooted hair. The other two were bald, and one was done with the drawn and... Um, Kind of painted drawn here with the combo in the center and i'll stick up a picture of that one i did that's that was onyx and the mother loves that baby but anyways here is mateo and he is stunning i'm just looking at his eyelash there uh but he is so pretty you guys and i'll get up close and show you um the eyelashes look at how pretty they are so soft and pretty he is really a stunning baby boy and I love that little afro. Oh, I love that afro. I do. Now, I, oh, I wanted to show you his flappiness. So his flappiness, as you see, he goes way back like all the other babies. Uh, very floppy. Um, squishy. You can see he is a squishy baby. So, yeah, he is very, you know, done well again as for the uh, silicone itself. I did open his mouth there. You see he can take, I hope you guys, I hope he's in frame there. He d can take a pacifier and bottle. I did open his mouth. Now I don't paint inside when they're a closed mouth uh, because you can't see that anyways. And when you're painting it, it's so hard to keep it open with a tooth toothpick because it loses paint in that area. And so, and then it seals shut again. So when you go to open it again, it just gets rid of the paint. So I don't worry about that on a baby that's closed like that, but it does open to take full pacifiers and a bottle. I make sure I open them pretty deep. But um, I want to show you like his uh, movement there, how he can have his head moved. 
um, turn to the side. Now this one doesn't do it as much as the, like the last baby, but it still can do all that. It still is amazing even compared to my $3,000 babies that can't move at all. So he does have great movement, you know, with him very floppy, like I said, and very squishy. He is phenomenal, you guys. I love his little afro. That's my favorite part on him is his little afro. I love it. Love, love, love little Mateo. He is a beautiful boy. All right, so now, um, I, like I said, I'll stick in there a clip on how to do the hair. Let's make sure he's not blurred. He was a little bit blurred there. Um, I'm going to quickly get him in what he's coming home in, which I send them home in just like a onesie and a few little things. So when you get him, it's almost like opening up a brand new baby. Uh, like I mean, not opening a brand new baby. Of course, it's brand new. I'm talking about when they bring a baby to you when you have your baby. Uh, of course, they clean it up, put it in a onesie, wrap it in a blanket and all that. So I'm going to show you how he's coming home and then all that he's coming with. So if you just give me one moment, I'm going to get him dressed into that and I'll be back. Okay, so here's how Mateo will be wrapped in his blanket to come home. Um, other than I will have saran wrap around his hair and a diaper on his face. Uh, just to protect his hair. So when you get him, of course, the hair is going to be flattened down from the, um, you know, the saran wrap around it and a diaper on his face just to protect it. So again, you're just going to do what I'm going to show you in that video. If you haven't seen it yet, it would be probably towards the end of the video um, how to do it. It's very simple to do, but it's just adorable. And you can't mess up, you know, hair like that, curly hair like that. It's always going to look cute no matter what. It's going to be adorable. And it is going to be a form of hair like a real afro, so it's more coarse. It definitely is for stuff. It's a mohair, but it's a very tight, curly mohair. So definitely it's going to have that feel. It's soft, very, very soft, but it has that feel of African-American hair. You know, it definitely has that, that feel of an afro, you know. So just so you know, when you get it, that's the feel. But it's just so baby fine and so cute. Like, you just can't mess up his hair. It's just so cute. Look at how adorable he is. You guys look at that skin tone. And I love that I did this one differently than I did my other ones. My other ones I did um, in, I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I did him in a more of a brown brown where the other ones I did more of a tan brown. So this one's done with more browns. And I'm going to show you a picture right now of the two different tones that how I used to use, you know, what I used for the last two and what I used for this one. He's more of a brown brown and you'll see the colors in those containers there, how one is more of a chocolate where the other one is more of a a lighter brown tan is what it is. So I wanted to give him more of a brown look to him. And I love the, the color I used on him. I really do. I love his skin tone. It's it's phenomenal. It really is. It's, you know, sometimes videos don't actually capture that. So at the end, I'll try to capture exactly the color. It's kind of pretty close to what the camera is showing here. Um, but I'll try to capture a really good photo so you guys will know. And I'll stick on there on the screen when I actually capture it. I'll put on there. This is pretty close to the color of him if I can capture it. But he is stunning, absolutely stunning. Look at that baby, ah, oh, that sleeping beauty, right? All right, let me show you what he's coming with. So the onesie was brand new, it's a Gerber. He is a newborn size baby. He's 19 inches and seven pounds. So a really good size baby. And um, he is wearing a brand new Gerber's onesie, brand new mitts, brand new socks. And I will be sending the hat. I always like to send the hat with it too, but I don't recommend lots of hats on babies with hair. You could put it on, of course, him. It's not gonna hurt him, but... um. I always just say, just be careful with hair because of course with a silicone, you can't glue that hair in. You know, you just can't glue it in. So he will have the matching hat that will come with him as well. If once I put on the plastic wrap, I may throw the hat on and then the diaper, you know, over the face for like that to protect the face. But I like to do the mitts and the socks just to protect him while he's traveling. So he'll come with the gray hat. You see that's new. All the other pieces were new as well. All right, then let me show you what this boy comes with. So first off, he needs a lovey. He's coming with this. Look at this, you guys. Furry friends. Look at this monkey. Isn't this adorable? And it does have the Velcro. So you can Velcro. It doesn't do it to the feet, just to the hands. But you can Velcro this, you know, around his neck, however you want to do it. But this is his lovey. And I thought that was absolutely cute and adorable when I saw those. I had to get a few different ones in a few different colors. So he'll come with the blue monkey. It is in a, like an orangutan. Uh, just adorable monkey, really soft. And then he will come with um, a toothbrush and a comb set. So he's got the Thomas the Tank toothbrush. It was brand new, a two-pack. I've sent it with the last um, girl, I believe it was. A, or no, boy, because this would have been a boy pack. So 
Thomas the Tank, and I don't remember the other color. I think it was green. He gets the blue one, and he'll also get the Cookie Monster brush set. And that's what I use is usually this to brush the hair back, and then I just play with it. Like I said, you'll see that video. And it also has a little comb. So both of you do that. Just be careful when combing the hair. Be very gentle. And then he will also come with a teether in the Cookie Monster. We're trying to stick with the theme of the, uh, you know, the... Cookie Monster Blues, you know, stuff like that. He will also come with this bottle, but it'll be a sealed off bottle so he can have a fake feeding. I'll do a fake formula bottle. Does not have to be refrigerated um, and can last for a good year or so. When you start to see the separation, you would just shake it up and, um, you know, just keep using it. Once it starts to get clumpy and stuff, then you'd want to empty it and redo it. But it will be sealed at the nipple with sil uh, Silpoxy. I seal the end so that it can go into his mouth and be a fake feeding. And I do about two ounces in there. And it's just lotion, water, and food coloring. So he'll come with that as well. And I just want you to know, so you see it's new because I am going to make, um, you know, make it for him, the bottle. He will come with this cute, um, uh, can't think, bib. It says gift from above, and he is definitely a gift from above. He is. He's a precious baby boy. And then he will come with, now my babies don't have to be powdered because I seal them with silicone velvet. And I recommend not doing a lot of rubbing and powdering to babies um, that don't need it because the more you rub, the more you're going to lose anything, right? I mean, if you rubbed a car a bunch of times, eventually, right, it's going to lose its paint. It's going to lose its seal. So just be careful with that. Now, my babies are done very well, so you don't have to, like, be cautious with mine as much. But I do send baby powder. This is a cornstarch baby powder. And then, of course, a full body wash. So you can wash the hair with this and the body. I'm going to send that with it. And just if you use this, just because you like the smell, put some in the diaper or just pounce it on him. I also put a wafer in him. My powder wafer will be in his diaper or in his onesie wrapped in a napkin. So he's got that beautiful baby smell when you open the box too. And there'll be one in the box. So you'll have an extra one for one of your other babies, one of your vinyls or one of your silicones. Uh, just wrap it in a napkin if you put it in the silicone like that. Uh, wrap it just so the oil doesn't transfer onto him. But um, like I said, you can use the baby powder for that good baby powder smell. Just pounce it on them with a makeup brush. Just do that if you want to and some in his diaper. Because some people just like the smell. So I understand. And then he will also come with baby wipes. Because it's fun to do changing, right? We like to change our babies. So you can change them. And yes, you can wipe his little bum with that. And then he will come with um, a extra diaper. He's got a diaper on. Pot control, I believe it is, newborn size. He'll have an extra diaper. He'll have a couple little baby washcloths, and they are brand new. I just took them out of a pack of four. So he'll get this one and this one, so some baby washcloths. I'm having trouble finding the baby towels for the boys. Um, they're, I'm just not finding them when I go to get them. So I'm sorry he doesn't have a, a baby towel. I usually send that with, but, you know, that's okay. He still has a lot of stuff with him. It's just I like to send the towel with it, too. So just get yourself a baby um, towel. This will be over his face. I like to use a much bigger diaper to go over the face when I close off his, um, you know, his face to protect him. And then he will come with a um, pacifier clip done in, like, uh, some greens. And then he'll have one of these. I believe I'll probably do this one or that. I, I'm not sure which one, but that one of these will be with him. And it does fit in his mouth. It'll be in his mouth with this hook to him. I like to just do that as they travel. He kind of feel like they're they're soothed as they're traveling. I know they're fake. I'm not silly like that. I know they're fake babies, but just for fun, I like to send them, you know, with that in their mouth already. I do use still, um, KY jelly to put, you know, insert the nip the nipples or bottles in the mouth. So you want to put a little bit on the pacifier and a little bit on your finger and into the mouth, and then it'll slide right in. That way you don't rip the mouth. You don't want to rip the mouth on these silicone so be careful so when you do pull it out there might be a little bit around his mouth and stuff because i'm going to put a little bit on it when i insert it in for him so just all you do is just rub your finger it'll gunk right off it just gunks right off it doesn't it's not thick or anything only, only use a little bit but ky water base it has to be a water base ky and i'll show you here it could be a generic whatever you want you can get it at walmart or drugstores whatever but ky water base only don't use those heated ones or anything you guys Make sure you just use a water-based KY for silicones. So he'll come with those, you know, just one of those, one of those pacifiers and the clip. And then he will also come with two outfits. I like to send a day and a night. So he'll be in this sleeper. It is brand new and it is a uh, Gerber newborn size. It's really cute. It's got the greens and I thought that would look so good with his skin tone. So it's the green with the gray sleeves. It's got a bear on it. It says, go explore. 
and it's got like the little forest there and it has got the it does have the feet and it zips so he'll come with that night outfit and then look at this adorable day outfit omg look at this can you just imagine when you're looking at him how cute he is going to be in this little outfit so it's a, a checkered like plaid type shirt it is done like in a cotton this is carter's it is a newborn size and it's like a cotton feel but it's that plaid look or flannel look with the little corduroy pants and they're done in the green the shirt has got red green black um blue just really cute colors it's actually got an actual pocket on it and then the cute buttons that almost look like cat eye buttons also the button for the little waist and i think it does work or is it just for look i think this one is just for look oh no it actually works okay so the button works in the pants but they're little corduroy green pants isn't that cute with the suspenders and the suspenders are black with green on it just adorable so he'll come with that and you see that's brand new i got that from target and you see i spent 14 on that it was on clearance but not that it matters but it'll be on him and it is uh, a carter's so that's everything he'll come with and then he'll be wrapped in this blanket i liked it with the dinosaurs and the blues and the greens so that's what he'll be wrapped in so he's protected and of course a few other little surprises i do when i wrap him up just a few little things that i do to him and uh, just special, you know, just so the box is really pretty. The box openings are pretty. Everybody talks about how much they love my box openings. You know, they're just fun to open. But there he is, you guys, Mateo. He's looking for a new mommy or daddy. He's a stunning little biracial or African-American little baby sleeping boy. And like I said, fully rooted and fully rooted eyebrows and eyelashes. He's stunning. And I love the skin variation, you know, the variation on him, the mottling, the variation. I love it. He is just a beautiful baby. I am asking $600 shipped. That's including the shipping. So it's $575 plus shipping. So $600 in the U.S. only for that because, of course, outside the U.S. it would be much more for the shipping. Uh, but $600 total because I rooted him and everything. That is a still the last baby I, I sold was a Caucasian uh, baby with... Um, you know, it was bald, a Caucasian bald baby, and I sold that one for five twenty-five. dollars And so I think this is a steal for a fully rooted African-American, you know, biracial baby, however you want to look at it. Um, you know, all the different, you know, when you have to mix your paints and stuff, it's a lot different painting, fully rooted with the eyebrows, eyelashes, and hair. And he's got the actual little Afro hair, which is cute. And I'm only asking just slightly a little bit more. So 600 shipped in the U.S. If you're interested, my email is up on the screen right there. Email me, please, and jump on it because this baby goes on a few sites. And when I do my um, African-American babies like that, uh, biracial babies, they go really fast. And I know a lot of people are looking for this because it'll be a little while before I do another one. Um, I try to, you know, do a variation of different uh, ethnic babies, um, you know, just, I mean, different nationalities. So you got your Caucasian always that I do, uh, biracial African-American um, I'm going to be doing a little Asian baby coming up here, a little Asian girl. I try to just show, you know, throw a little variation in there, but most of mine are Caucasian. So if you're wanting this one, it's going to be a while before I'll do another one. So uh, go ahead and, you know, get on that as soon as possible. Send me a message in the email. I take PayPal or Cash App and um, I will send you a, I would just need to get, you know, information from you um, to, I will need your PayPal address or the other to be able to give you a, um, you know, invoice. I want to send you an invoice or send you the payment so that you pay me. And then um, the baby will get shipped out immediately if it's paid. Like within that day, the very next day, if it's not a weekend, the baby will go out right away. If it gets ordered, you know, like today is Monday. So if somebody ordered him through this week up till Thursday, I would get it mailed out Friday, you know, immediately. If it was today, Monday, if you guys see this video, I would ship it out tomorrow. So it gets shipped immediately and I will send you tracking as well. So just send me an email. Um, also, this will he'll be on Facebook Market and a few other sites. So then it's just different on those sites or whatever. They just contact me there and we just meet up. But anyways, there he is, Mateo, my newest reborn uh, biracial baby boy. And he is stunning with his little afro. I love it. 
at the end, I will stick in the before and afters. I'll stick in a little quip, uh, a little clip that I will be uh, speeding the video up of doing his hair just because it takes a little while. I don't want that video to be long. Um, it's not long, but it just means probably about five minutes long when doing it as you're waiting for it to dry. But I'll just speed the video up just showing how I just combed it back. And basically, I'm just running my fingers through it. And if I see a little knot, I'm using the little toothbrush. That's it. I use the bigger brush to comb it back. The other one to do that. Buy definitely a detangler for a baby with curly hair. Always have a detangler on hand and know that he's going to have you know, flat hair when he comes because it's going to be wrapped in that uh, saran wrap with a hat on probably or a diaper. Regardless, he's going to have the diaper on and the saran wrap just to protect his hair. So no, it's going to be, you know, flattened down when you get it. So you're just going to brush it and run it through and do like I do in that video. All right, you guys, everybody take care. God bless. And I look forward to see who gets this little guy. I love you guys. Take care.